Alright, so I got something in the mail today, and we have our little knife right here. We're just going to open it up. This is something new that I'm going to try out in this channel. Uh, a company reached out to me and, uh, you know, told me, hey man, work with us. So, you know, that's what I'm going to do. There we go. Violence is the answer. So what do we have here? detail guys so you know they're kind of new to the market and uh you know they reached out to me and they said you know what uh how about you know you give your fans a little help you know a little a little you know good products too so we're gonna try out their products this weekend on sunday hopefully and i ordered all the bottles necessary so we have our detail guys detail spray Right here, pink, which is, comes with the nozzle. And then we have our all purpose cleaner right here. Another one. And then we have our touchless wheel cleaner for the wheels. Another one for that. And we have our waterless wash right there. With the last one and then our car shampoo now that's a really weird color for a shampoo i'll tell you that so i'm so used to you know using adam's polishes uh using the blue one and this one looks a little bit more gooey but i feel like there's going to be a lot more foam and if anything it might work a little bit better but there you go we're i'm gonna be trying these products out and as a matter of fact I have a discount code for you guys if you guys want to use it. You could just type in Red Him URT and you get 10% off. So we're going to try this out. I'm going to go ahead and after this just add the part to the video where I'm actually cleaning the car. So it's two days after this, uh, after this clip pretty much. But you'll see how this works. You'll see how, you know, if it does a good job or not. You And uh, if you guys want to order something, you go ahead I would strongly recommend you know if it works if it cleans the car strongly recommend so let's go to that now Okay, so here we have a little project that I'm planning on doing. I'm um, trying to put some half covers on this. So I went ahead and cut this off, and the reason why is because look, 
I have to show you once you put it on. This is gonna get in the way. So you're gonna have to cut a hole around here. But there was a little thing sticking down there. So just to get better, just I went ahead and cut off the whole thing. Just, you know, just like that. But I have to press this all the way down. So I can actually put it in there correct. But I'm still trying to find a way. I've seen people put like a filter here. Or, you know, run the cable a little bit longer or something. They've done something. But I'm going to be replacing this with maybe a Mopar cooler intake. So I'll find a way to run something different and make it. So right now I am grinding this. Well, sanding it down. I'm sorry. I'm not grinding. Uh, so I went ahead and cut it off. I'm going to use a stronger one. This one's really not doing the job. But I'm going to debash the 392 and replace it with 345. Okay, I went ahead and installed a C bracket here just, just so I could fit this 345 thing because if I was to do it the way I had it, which was over here, it would be actually harder for me to get there. So I went ahead and did the C bracket and as well, it's easier to take off than the one over here. So you see this one fixed, this one's fine. I, I don't have to worry about that one. No, it's just this one, like I said, that I have to worry about. And it's mostly right here in the bottom part. So I'm going to have to find a way to maybe run the cable. Probably, I don't know, push it down a little bit more. And then I can fit that in there. But I am, like I said, I'm going to debadge it, put the 345, and then I'm going to paint it. Probably leave these black or something. Just so it can look cool. And have the rest of it looking red. Just so it could go with the engine. Um, I was thinking about maybe buying a cover for this. The red cover. Alright, so I'm also going to replace this one right here, probably like just put the cover, the red cover. I've seen them on a website, I don't remember, I'll put it down in the description, or I'll just put it down right here so you can see it. <laughs> That's the website that I'm going to order them from, I've seen people order them from there. Um, like I said, I'm going to get a Mopar cold air intake, if not, I'm going to get an air raid intake. Uh, just something that has that that wall right there, and the one, the one that brings it all the way to the ground instead of just having the little wall on the side actually brings it down so you could get you know colder air and the reason why is just because again this is bothering me from putting that in but we'll see what it does uh my oil catch can i'm gonna sand it down i've seen people paint chrome before i think i'm gonna do it um so i'm gonna sand it down and then i'm gonna paint it red as well so this right here, the whole engine base, you're gonna see more red. Not this, I've done this before and it's a pain because the paint just sticks on, but as it folds, it just breaks and stuff. So it's not worth it. So actually, let's just check my oil cash can actually. Look at that, I don't know if I can see that. Maybe with a little bit of light. See, it's a lot of oil. So, we gotta get rid of this. And one thing I always done before, every time I clean it, I just like to clean it on the inside as well. Just because, you know, it's, it looks cleaner and stuff like that. I mean, it's gonna get dirty anyway. It's gonna have oil in it, but at least you can clean it up a bit. So, clean that up. And then clean the bottom because this is right here. It's where all the oil is leaking to. So you gotta give that a little clean as well. Let me just put it back up. Not too tight, just to the point where it's hand tight. That should be good enough. But yeah, later when I'm actually making this project and finally sand this down, painting everything, I'll be making a video of that, how it looks like that. Uh, like I said, at the beginning, I said I wasn't gonna get a cold air intake. The reason why was because I didn't really make any difference, just the sound. But I am gonna do, be doing uh, the air raid, hopefully, just because it's red goes with the car so yeah but as far as that uh, let's just go ahead and get to cleaning the tires and uh, we'll see how this car looks like at the end all right that's what it looks like 
I didn't clean the cattle first, but... I mean, I mean the, the fucking garters, but... I mean, look at the car. It's just... So shiny red. I like... I like it. Like, for some reason... Right now, to me, it doesn't look like a red line red. It looks more of a tour red. Just because it's so... Clean. I don't know, it's just... The red is really bright with this. I don't know why. <laughs> I feel like, I don't know, I like it better than Adam's polishes, so I can tell you that. I don't know why, it's just with Adam's, I just don't, don't remember seeing this, the red so clean like this. That's how it looks. Real clean. Tires, I know you can't see it, but... Right. So I don't know, it's just really clean. Like look, let me show you the back tire. Look at it. It's shiny. Like real bright. Like real shiny this time. And the so are the tires. It's just I don't know. Like I said, uh I got you guys a code if you guys want to use it, if you want to try out the product. They are Detail Guys, that's the name of the company. We get used Red Hemi RT and you get 10% off from all your purchases. So, you know, I would strongly, you know, recommend this product over anything else. I've tried, you know, two or three other different products, like I said, but this one is just crazy. I didn't even think this was possible. You can see my desk. My desk truck. That's crazy. Yeah. There you go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give it a like. And if you want to see more, subscribe. So until then, I'll see you guys next time. Ooh, I'm a rebel just for